All right, this is Paul here with Pretty Link Pro. And in today's video, we're going to cover uh, how to do some conversion uh, reporting in MemberPress. So I've set up a landing page here. And uh, this is just a test page, so forgive the, uh, the unprettiness of it. But uh, we've got, you know, it just says this is a cool landing page. Click here to opt into our newsletter. So I'm going to go ahead and update the page. And uh, let's go back to look at all of my pages. I'm going to close all this out. So we've got our landing page. Then we're going to have an opt-in page. And let me show you this. This opt-in page has a form. The user can enter their name, their email, and they're going to subscribe to my newsletter. Okay. After they fill this out, this form is going to redirect them to a thank you page. Okay. So I want to track a conversion. I want to see do they actually click a link on the landing page? If so, that link will take them to the opt-in page. And then if they make it to the thank you page, here's where I want to track um, the actual conversion. So if the user makes it from a pretty link on my landing page to the opt-in page and then to the thank you page, then I can track a conversion in that process. So what do we need to make that work? Um, well, the first thing we need to do is we need to set up a uh, pretty link that's going to be embedded on this landing page. And when it's clicked, that pretty link's going to track a hit and redirect the user to this opt-in page. And then if the user actually fills out the form and completes the form, the, uh, the form will redirect them to this thank you page. And on this thank you page, we're going to embed a another pretty link called a tracking pixel and that tracking pixel is going to capture our conversion so let's uh, let's go set up some pretty links and uh, we'll go through this step by step and uh, cover how to set up your first uh, conversion reporting in pretty link pro okay so our first step is going to be to set up a couple pretty links like I said one we're going to embed on this landing page and another to capture the conversion uh, that we'll secretly embed on this thank you page using using a tracking pixel. So uh, let's go over a pretty link setting first that has to be set up correctly. Uh, here in the reporting options you do need to make sure this is set to extended or else uh, you might find yourself frustrated why conversions are not being reported properly. So again, make sure this is set to extended, save your options, and now we're going to go to pretty link. We're going to add a new link, and I'm going to call this, uh, I'll just use a 307 temporary. It doesn't matter what redirect type you use here. You don't want to use pretty, uh, excuse me, you don't want to use pixel. And we tend to avoid pretty bar and cloaked uh, as much as possible. Um, but you you are okay to use any of these 300 errors, or excuse me, any of these 300 redirect types and meta, fresh, meta refresh in JavaScript. <clears throat> so I'm going to stick with just a conventional 307 temporary redirect. And I want this to take me to uh, that opt in page, which is this page right here. So I'm going to copy the URL for that. I'm going to paste it in here. And just to keep things simple, we're going to call this. Uh, go to opt-in. Okay, so this is, we're going to call this our go to opt-in link. This link is embedded on the landing page and redirects the user to the opt-in page. We do want to make sure that tracking is enabled here. And we're going to create the link. Okay, so now we've got our opt-in link. I'm going to go ahead and copy this link. We're going to go back to our pages. And I'm going to go to the landing page here. I'm going to edit this. And I want to link uh, this right here to my opt-in page. Okay, so I'm going to add a pretty link. I'm going to search for opt-in, which is going to go to opt-in. 
go ahead and insert that pretty link and update the page. Now if we go to the page, and I'm going to open this in an incognito window so the cookies are fresh. Go to the landing page here. If I click this opt-in link and uh, close, come back here to pretty link, you can see we have tracked a click properly. So now um, we need to add one more pretty link. This is going to be our goal pretty link, which is going to be a tracking pixel. And you see it doesn't have a target URL. Uh, it doesn't redirect, it doesn't do anything, it's just there to track conversions. So I'm going to call this our goal pixel link. Well, I'll just call it the goal pixel. Goal pixel link. This link is embedded as a tracking pixel on our thank you page. Okay, again I want to make sure that tracking is enabled and I'm going to go ahead and create this link. So now we've got two links. We've got the one that's embedded on our um, uh, our landing page that takes the user to the opt-in form. And now we've got this new link that we're going to embed on our thank you page. And this is what's going to actually trigger uh, the conversion. So I want to go to the dashboard, pages. I'm going to choose the thank you page and we're going to have to go to text mode for this. We're going to go to text mode. You can see I've already got one here from an earlier test. I'm going to delete this and uh, actually let's just start from the beginning on this. So we're going to create an image tag. So we're going to say image source equals and we're going to paste that tracking pixel pretty link in there and then we're going to say display or excuse me, style. So we're going to tell it to use some CSS. Display none. That's display colon none semicolon end quote and then a forward slash and uh, the little greater than sign. So it starts with a less than tag, ends with a greater than tag. Okay, so this image here, if we go to visual mode, you'll see that's that's hidden. You can't see this image. Um, the user will not see it when they come to your page. Um, our little uh, CSS here tells it to not show this link, this image at all. So what happens is when the user lands on this page, the browser goes out and says, hey, is there a picture at this URL? And it doesn't find one, and it doesn't matter because we've hidden it with this. But in the attempt to try to find an image here, it actually will track a hit in Pretty Link and uh, that's how we're going to get our our conversions to secretly track here. So I'm going to go ahead and update our thank you page. And the last piece is to actually set up the reports. We're going to go pretty link, uh, pro reports, add report, and I'm going to call this uh, opt-in conversions. So our analyze links or uh, a links, or sometimes they're called the A links. Uh, we're going to choose our opt in link. And our goal link, or sometimes referred to as B links, uh, we're going to choose our goal link here. Now, if you have multiple landing pages and you're trying to determine the success rate of your various layouts, you can actually add multiple A links over here and get a report on which A links have the uh, you take them all to the same thank you page and then you you can have a report that will show you which um, of your landing pages uh, is converting the best so for this for this tutorial we're just going to cover the one the one landing page and keep it nice and simple so go ahead and create the report if we view it we can see we've had some clicks but there's no conversions um, let me just go reset the clicks really quick and uh, let's see, let's go to, I think it's under tools. Yeah, trim clicks. I'm going to delete all the clicks here. Okay, so this is back to zero, zero. And our reports should show zero as well. Okay, so no hits. All right, so now I'm going to open this in an incognito window. 
it's just a fresh window as if I was a brand new user and let's go to the opt-in or not the opt-in we want to go to the landing page okay so somehow I landed on this cool page of yours I'm like hey this sounds pretty good I'm gonna click here and opt in so I've now clicked the pretty link and I won't fill out the form just yet when I refresh this report you'll see a, a click is now in here so we've got one click but no conversions yet okay so now I'm gonna fill this out my name is uh, Jack Reacher I think that's spelled right my email is jack at reacher dot co dot uk dot fake. Just make sure no one actually gets an email here. So I'm going to click opt in, and this is going to redirect me to that thank you page. Now you can see there's no image being displayed here, but if I look at the view source, I can see this image is actually here, and the browser is trying to find an image here. So it should have tracked another hit and a conversion. So let's uh, refresh this report. And there it is. You can see we've had one successful conversion. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, you can do a, you know, a second, third, fourth, as many as you want, A pages or landing pages. And you can track which ones are... Uh, performing the best but this is just a quick overview on how to get up uh, get up and running and get your first conversion tracking and I uh, hope that helps if you have any questions just uh, reach out to our support team and uh, we'll be happy to to do what we can to help you